Howdy music fans. Thanks for joining me for another series of Unsung Heroes. Today it's going to be singer, songwriter, country roots rocker Gurf Morlix. You might know him from Lucinda Williams. He did a lot of work with her on Car Wheels on a Gravel Road on production. Uh, I believe he played some guitar on it, but he also played guitar for Warren Zevon and was good friends with Ian McCloggan of The Faces and played with Ian McCloggan as well. So pretty amazing stuff there. Let's get going. First album, Toad uh, of Titicaca. And this one is one of my favorites. It might be my favorite. It's, very, it's his most upbeat album. He's a great songwriter. Uh, writes a lot of country stuff, a lot of rock and roll stuff, a lot of singer-songwriter stuff, some slower stuff. But, um, yeah, he really is a great songwriter. And I love his singing voice as well. Um, he pretty much does all the production on everything himself and all the instruments. Uh, Fallen Off the Face of the World is one song on here. So that tells you what kind of songs sometimes he writes. This one, oh, these aren't in order. Maybe they are, I'm not sure. Um, this is Blaze Foley's 113th Wet Dream, a take on the Bob Dylan song, of course. He was a good friend of Blaze Foley, and he does a bunch of Blaze Foley songs on here, and they're very, he does the, some upbeat ones. He also does Clay Pigeons, the one that John Prine did, and he does If I Could Only Fly, the one that Merle Haggard did. So, pretty cool stuff. Here's another one I really like called Fishing in the Muddy, and this one's also pretty upbeat. Um, Fishing in the Muddy is a really upbeat song. I Ain't Going That Way is a really upbeat song. But a lot of the songs are like this. Not as upbeat, but just really good. He, he, he does a great job of creating a, a vibe, an atmosphere, a feeling with his production and his songwriting. And he's got one hell of a history, you know, with playing with Warren Zevon and, and being friends with uh, Ian McCloggan and, and playing with Lucinda Williams and per recording with Lucinda Williams on her opus, Car Wheels on a Gravel Road. And I actually got to meet Gurf a couple times. Last year, I think it was 2019, I think it was 2019, he toured, uh, and I actually, he was accessible by email. I emailed him about a show and tried to get him a show because he was having trouble getting a show fit in a certain tour, it, it fit in in the right place in this certain tour. Um, and he played it at a place called the Royal Room in Seattle, and he played just him and his acoustic guitar and two stomp boxes, which was really cool to see. This, by the way, is a real is a country album. It's called Cut and Shoot, and it's got a lot more of his country stuff on it and this one's probably my other favorite as far as songwriting there's one called um were you lying down and the catch line is when you stood me up so that's a classic country you know tongue-in-cheek phrase euphemism um they're hanging me tonight is another cover he does that on here which is um an old traditional and then let's see this one's called diamonds to dust and Killin' Time in Texas is one of the ones on here. Madeline's Bones is a real upbeat rocker. A lot of really great stuff. Um, so anyway, I went to this show and got to see him and meet him, and I bought his new record from him there. And uh, then he played again at a place called... Uh, Treehouse Cafe, which I'd always I'd, I'd heard about recently, wanted to check it out, and uh, went with a friend. This is called Lax, Last Exit to Happy Land. <laughs> Great titles. And then um, got to meet him there and, and talk and chat a little bit. And it was just another him and his acoustic guitar, just sitting there and playing a stomp box. Really, really fun. We, we were in the first row. We were 10 feet from him or less. Little sit-down dinner place. Both of them were. This one is called Gurf Morlix Finds the Present Tense. Isn't that great? And then with the photo, great title there. Like I said, he does all the production and all the instruments for the most part. Um, 
Yeah, just a lot of great songs. Oh, that first song, Series of Closing Doors, is on this one. Just a lot of really wonderful, wonderful songwriting. I really like that. Eating at Me. Another great title. This one has uh, Dirty Old Buffalo, Grab the Wheel, Born in Lackawanna is a pretty fun one, and uh, Dinah is a real rocker, and 50 Years is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous song of memory and recollection and looking back on life. Really wonderful song. Great writing. The Soul in the Heel, this I think was the one that he was selling. Oh, no, maybe not. Maybe this was right after that when I first saw him. Oh, I guess it is because he signed it. Yeah. So this was the, this was the 2017, I guess, when I saw him. And then, but this one I think was the same thing. Uh, we saw him. Yeah, he signed this one too. So this is 2017. So a couple years ago. I was not exactly right about the date. And that's what he looks like nowadays. And this one he signed the inside. Now this has Rick Richards on it. From uh, he's on the in the Georgia was in the Georgia Satellites, I believe. So he's played a lot with Dan Baird. And then this year he put out a new record. Uh, called, oh, sorry, that one was called Impossible Blue, and before that, it was that one was called The Soul and the Heel. And they're all very good. These are slower, a little bit slower. This one's a little slower, and, and uh, so is this one. This one's a little bit more upbeat and gritty. Kiss of the Diamondback. Look at that painting. Isn't that incredible? I don't know who did the artwork, but man, that is a gorgeous, gorgeous painting. And this one, just he just sent me an email, and I was on his, I'm on his list now, and said he's got a new record out. If you want it, you can buy it. And so I did. Um, I'm a, I'm a big fan. This one is Rick Richards on drums again, um, and there's some pretty fun uh, liner note stuff. But all songs written by Garth Morlicks. Oh, on one of these songs, he does Bob Dylan's "With God on Our Side." And there's a little sticker in there, Garth. Um, so accessible, nice guy. Um, reminds me a little bit of James McMurtry, a little more accessible. Um, but in his songwriting, is a little bit James McMurtry-ish as well. Um, although he's got some real upbeat country stuff. So this, I think, is all of his albums except for one, which is an instrumental album. So I don't have that one. But um, these are all excellent, including this all covers album of Blaze Foley, another wonderful songwriter that he was friends with before Blaze Foley died. That's it for Gurf Morlicks. Uh, I'll put some links to some of my favorite songs in the chat. Please uh, subscribe, like, and comment. I'd love to hear what you think if you know anything about Gurf or his music or any of the um, things that he has uh, uh, been involved in, like Warren Zevon, Ian McClog, and Lucinda, or anybody else. All right, thanks so much. Have a good day.